Let's take a look at division with dividends up to 60. Elizabeth gives out 66 slices of cake evenly between three friends. How many slices does each friend get? Well, if she's giving them out evenly, that's a hint that we need to divide, right? So we want to think 66 divided by 3. Now, if you can do 66 divided by 3 off the top of your head, that's fine. You can write it like this. If you need to think about that for a second, it might be helpful to rewrite it this way and say 66 divided by 3. Now, the benefit of writing it this way is I can think of it one digit at a time. So I can say, well, how many times does 3 go into 6? 3 goes into 6 two times, right? 3 times 2 is 6. That leaves me with nothing left over from that digit. And then I'm going to bring down the 6. Well, how many times does 3 go into 6? 2 times again. And then I have nothing left over. So it divides evenly. So if she takes her 66 slices of cake divided evenly three ways, then each person gets 22 slices, where 66 divided by 3 equals 22. Gabriel is dividing up his 45 toys evenly into three boxes. How many toys are in each box? Okay, well, if he has 45 toys and he's dividing them up evenly to three boxes, dividing them up evenly means divided. So 45 divided by three. Okay, now you might know off the top of your head 45 divided by 3 if you're really, really good with your arithmetic rules. If not, you can set it up this way and say, okay, how can I figure out 45 divided by 3? And again, the nice thing about writing it as a long division problem, this means the same thing, right? They both mean 45 divided by 3, right? 45 divided by 3. The nice thing about writing it this way is it reminds us we can take it one digit at a time, right? How many times does 3 go into 4? One time. Well, three times one is three, which leaves us with one left over. And then you can bring down the five and say, how many times does three go into 15? Well, three goes into 15 five times, right? Three times five is 15. And that leaves you with nothing left over. So 45 divided by three is 15, or there are 15 toys in each box. Mia cuts 48 slices of pizza and divides them among her two friends evenly. How many pizza slices does each friend get? Okay, well, 48 slices of pizza, and she's dividing them evenly among two friends. Okay, well, let's think about this. 48 divided by 2, right? Dividing them evenly means we're going to divide. So we want to figure out what is half of 48. If you know exactly half of 48, you can just write that. If you need to think about it for a minute, you can, of course, set it up this way and say 48 divided by 2 and then take it one digit at a time. Well, how many times does 2 go into 4? 2 goes into 4 2 times, right? 2 times 2 gives us 4. So we have nothing left over, and then we bring down the 8. How many times does two go into eight? Two goes into eight four times, right? Two times four is exactly eight. So then we have nothing left over. So 48 divided by two or half of 48 is equal to 24. So each friend gets 24 slices of pizza. Caleb cuts 87 slices of pizza and divides them among his three friends evenly. How many pizza slices does each friend get? Okay, well, if there's 83 slices of pizza divided evenly among three friends, right, that's going to be 87 divided by 3.
okay? So let's look at this this way, right? This also means 87 divided by three, and we can take it one digit at a time. Well, how many times does three go into eight? Well, three goes into eight a little more than two times, right? Because three times two is six. So if I subtract that, eight minus six leaves me with two. Three doesn't go into two, but I'm gonna bring down the seven, and three goes into 27. Three goes into 27 nine times, right? Three times nine is exactly 27. So that means we now have zero left over or we get an exact answer. So 87 divided by three gives us 29, or each friend gets 29 slices of pizza, right? That's a lot of pizza.